Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the new service which is called Hyper. Hyper is something like Beam in your browser. So what can do you in the Hyper, how you can use it. I will quickly uh, overview today and maybe you will find this tool really really useful for your case. If you are ready, let's get started. First of all, as always, like in Revit or in the other program, we will start from the new workflow. So I'll create the, my new workflow. Here, as you can see, uh, we have already like few types of them, mm, uh, like tutorials, let's say. You can see directly uh, what Hyper can do. You can see how it's working with the spaces, how it's working with the sum analysis, and uh, also the sum analysis with the sunlight. So you can, uh, for example, first of check the sum model uh, before you will start to work. If you are ready to work with the Hyper, here on the bottom, you will find the new workflows. I will create the new one, and uh, the hyper can can give you like uh, some uh, templates, which is quite good. You can, for example, the <laughs> standard Revit uh, template. Uh, you can use some template for your workflow. For for example, if you need uh, some solid analysis, uh, you need to uh, check the, your park view. You can click on this template and use it. You don't need to uh, install. You don't need to prepare uh, anything. You can work with that. In our case, we will start from the blank project. So I'm going to the new blank workflow, and we will create uh, our build from the zero and uh, here is the workspace so you can change here your name of the your project so let's say it will be as always it will be test and here we have like workflow and the function library we will start from the last one we'll start from the function library let's say function library it's your tools like in Revit like in Archicad in Bina so you are starting from the your function tools let's say and first of all we need the, our location we should understand where will be our building uh, of course you can load some pictures so you can some load some dwg but we will start from the uh, location maps so we will use the like so open street maps uh, let's type the location. Here is the location, and uh, let's add this function inside to the our workflow. Uh, when you see this red dot, it means uh, it's under the process, and it's done as you can see. Here is uh, somewhere. It's nowhere somewhere. Let's say why I'm talking like this because uh, actually, if you will go inside to the your workflow location, you will find this area. It's somewhere nowhere. Uh, let's write some uh, some real state like uh, actually this is also the real state but I don't know where is that uh, let's write like London uh, UK and here's our London UK you will find as you can see here's our map let's find some interesting place uh, maybe maybe somewhere 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 here I wanna somewhere here and now we, as you can see the our map it's starting the uh, shading it means it's lo loading and here is our place as you can see it's loaded inside to the our project now you can here use for example the some context buildings you can add it uh, of course it's uh, loading from the uh, open data so it's not always the hundred percent right but if you are living in the big some city I mean like in Tokyo New York uh, and on and on uh, this data it will be quite quite right let's say without any uh, mistakes and as you can see here is our building so you can work with that and you can create your own building let's find some uh, place where we will place our building oh we will place it here uh, exactly for us this building uh, I mean this uh, free area I mean I think I think this is park so we will start to draw our building here now we need to add the new function so we will work like with the layers like function 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 so we need the new function uh, i will close the views i don't need it because I, my screen is not so big and here i will write like involve uh, here the sum involve let's uh, use the for example we need now uh, we need by sketch this one as you can see creating building elements so by the, draw your sketch polygon this is what i need let's use it 
uh, here it is as you can see and we need the set parameters of course we need the set parameters because we didn't draw anything let's draw our polygon and though I, I will create some uh, not so uh, quite uh, hard building let me I will create something like this maybe I will place this dot a bit here so it's something like a sketchup let's say you're working now mm maybe like this so it looks okay I think and let me I will save this building so once you will save it again it's the loading the data here is your building and here is your uh, if you will open this envelope, uh, envelope I mean the by sketch you will find here there are some basic uh, basic settings which is you can manipulate so my building high will be oh let's say it's 100 meters yeah uh, the government doesn't will really exist it but okay we will use it okay here is our future building let's say this is a mess of course you can uh, import your mess model from the rhino but we will talk about it a bit later so we did it uh, now we uh, can work with this uh, actually with our form uh, for now I will use the my location off I wanna just hide it because I wanna work with only the my model now we will see much better uh, what we doing with our model and now it's time to create the grid let's go to the, the function and uh, let's add the one more function which is called the grid just type the grid and you will find it here let's create it uh, of course as an, uh, an architect I understand that the grid not will be correct because like this grid it's uh, actually this is not right we should have like two types of the grids and on the under ang angle because right uh, okay it doesn't matter because we created it automatically and uh, of course you can change it if you want uh, for our tutorial right now I not will change anything but uh, you just uh, keep them on the, your mind so we have the this solution you can change it we will leave as it is so uh, we have the grids we need the levels let's find the levels uh, and here you will find the simple levels from the by envelope and uh, envelope sorry and levels by envelope so we need the first one let's create the our levels from the envelope model uh, just few seconds it will take a time and as you can see here is our levels if you will go inside to the levels you will find like the some uh, basic settings like your height of your building and uh, penthouse level if you need blah 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 so he this one simple uh, basics uh, tools you have uh, after that we need to create the floors so we now have the levels we now have the uh, we need to create the floors uh, let's find the floor floor and we wanna create our floor by uh, by levels let's say let's create it by levels uh, and here is just wait a second and here's our levels as you can see with the floors uh, and uh, one more thing of course we should create our mm, facade but before we create the facade we need to create the core and here this is one let's create it let's say will place and it automatically will create the core inside our building as you can see it here <laughs> uh, quite quite not right but okay, it's okay this is this is everything automatically we don't need do we don't do anything uh, by manually uh, let's create uh, finally our um, columns columns by floors let me will create it again we should take a time a bit and here's our columns columns actually pretty good working but as you can see on this side it's not working well uh, don't know why but uh, yeah it's not it's not good for us so let me see the settings of the columns uh, using the grids as, as, you, as you can see and the volumetric blah 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 uh, let's leave it as it is right now and let's add uh, for now the facade let's see what the facade we will get from this building uh, it will take a bit more time and here is our facade as you can see let me I will switch off the my uh, envelope sketch uh, I will switch off the height and now we can see our building actually so here is our building and uh, I can add here also the um, roof because we don't have a roof let's add the roof
and here our roof. As you can see, uh, we're not spending a lot of the time, but uh, we already have the building. Uh, we can now work much better with this building. Uh, we actually, I use it only the maybe like mm, less than one or three percent of the uh, function what we have. But it's already we get the uh, full created building, of course, with the some mistakes of the column. Now let's play around with the some other functions of the uh, of the hyper. Uh, it's not will be about the building, but it will be about the analysis of the building. First of all, if you remember, I was switched off my the location. Right now I need it. Let me I will show the my location. And as you can see, and let's uh, switch off our grid. We don't need to see the, our grid. Let's I will hide it. And now you can see how the building uh, placed on our site. Let's go to back to the uh, add function and let's find here, for example, the first function we can see it here. It's the view radius. Let me add this view radius and let's see what the view radius will give us. Actually, the view radius will show us where we have the some problem with the view. And uh, yes, it is, as you can see, with the some level, we have the problem because here the building and the building blocking the view. Uh, if you will go to the view radius, you can see the here the test view of uh, the level. Of course, if you will go to the uh, 50 uh, meters uh, above, uh, we not will see any big problem. Let's wait un until it finish. Uh, no, we still have the problem with this side, but as you can see, everything alright except this few part. So you can see we can uh, have the some analysis here. It's really fast and it's so informative because we can see where we have the problem also we can work with the another type of the function with this analysis we already work with the view radius and we can for example use the sum analysis let me I will use for example the uh, solar analysis yeah it's here and let's add another type of the analysis which is called the um, shadow one here here it is let me add as you can see, I was at the two type of the analysis. It will take a bit of time to get it, but you will see the results here. As you can see, the shadow analysis is finished. Here is our shadow analysis. You can see where will be uh, in in each time of the year um, much shadow from the our building. And here also the, our solar analysis. As you can see, the this part, this side, it's really nice. But this side it's not because uh, most of the time will be here the not enough the sun. Uh, quite good, a few seconds, you understand how it's working. And if you need more, for example, going too deeply, here you will find, the, for example, ladybug. Uh, if you're working with the rhino, you of course then know the ladybug sun path, but it will take a bit much time than uh, then just we did use, for example, the solar analysis. It will take around five minutes or much. Uh, you will find another type of the analysis there. It's also so awesome because you just few clicks and you get what you want. So let me I will hide now the uh, all the this analysis because I don't need it. Uh, let me I will hide it. And what uh, we can do next with our model. Now it's much interesting time. Okay, you're working in, in the browser. Okay, we have a lot of the function here, but what the next? How we can work with this model, for example, in another program? Maybe let's say in Rhino, maybe, I don't know, in Revit or Archicad. What we can do with this model? Uh, let me go back and uh, see how working with the Rhino. If you're working with the Rhino, you can see we can import uh, from the Rhino anything here just use uh, the function how to export uh, to the export you should go you should go to the export here under the more you will find the export let's go to the export and you will find here the few types of the um, model uh, how you can export it json format revit uh, and ifc uh, to be honest, JSON and Revit is actually the same. Uh, it's also the here exporting the JSON format, but you should install. Uh, let me will open. No, the, not this one. Sorry. Ah, yes, this one. But you should install the plugin for the Revit, which is will understand this is JSON format to the uh, export to import inside to the Revit. 
uh, we will use this one because most of the my uh, uh, viewers subscribers are using the rabbit I will use the rabbit let me I will export let's I will download this model and uh, give me a second I will switch to the another um, computer where I have the rabbit and I will uh, I will install I will open the, my model there so here is my Revit, as you can see. Let me, I will create the new project. As always, I will create the metric architecture project. Let me, I will open it. And as you can see, I already installed uh, under the my add-ins, you will find the hyper uh, tools. So what we need? We need to actually go to the 3D view and uh, just load our model here, the load model RVT. So let me, I will open it. And here already my JSON file which is I already downloaded from the um, from the hyper uh, tool. Let me I will select it and let's I will open it. It will take a bit of time because uh, our model actually transferring uh, from the text format to the uh, let's say uh, to the our Revit model. It's not so. Here is our model as you can see. Uh, let me will go back and uh, oh here is, is the just some also the my surrounding and yes what I found it the we have the one mm, some let's say not big problem but uh, actually the problem uh, the levels it's going not the right so I think uh, the problem because uh, I didn't create the levels that's why the rabbit actually if you will select creating all levels under the level two if I will select this one is also the level two and uh, and on so I think this is also the my mistake but uh, let me uh, delete the levels for now we don't need it I mean the floors uh, and here as we get our model so if I will change for example to the uh, constituent colors of course it doesn't have any colors and uh, of course it's not uh, um, it not will be a uh, natural Revit model because all our panels will be generic one and uh, if we will go to the floor it will be the I mean the walls will be walls but the floors let's check it if floors it's floors yeah we have only problem with the facade because some developers some customers really don't like when you're using the uh, let's say generic model instead the curtain system but it's already uh, about the taste it's not about the how to work so as you can see you can export your model to the Revit and it's working you can work with this model uh, what I can say about the hyper I really impressed I think uh, if it's not uh, about the future but the all the services going inside to the cloud and this is a future we will be work uh, I think in near future with the MacBook Air or some uh, the not so powerful laptops so what do you think about the cloud web services like this do you want more tutorials about the hyper let me know below the comments thank you guys for watching and see you next time